This is the BYD Auto 3, a fully electric Chinese SUV with a spacious interior and long driving range. I am personally still undecided about electric cars, especially for our South African market. However, the advantage of going BYD is that the vehicles come at a reasonable price. Well, that's if you call a starting price of 768,000 rands reasonable. However, for the price, the vehicle offers a good range compared to most electric vehicles in South Africa. Ready or not, this is the future. And from where I'm sitting, it looks bright. In this video, you and I will have a quick look at the Auto 3, focusing on its exterior and interior looks, engine performance, and some of its features. We will test drive it, launch it, and test its overtaking power. Without any further waste of time, let's dive into our quick review. Hey mate, what do you drive these days? Well, I drive a Build Your Dreams Auto 3. You drive a what? Let me explain. BYD, also known as Build Your Dreams, is a giant Chinese conglomerate founded in 1995, headquartered in Shenzhen. It's known for two main things, being the world's largest electric manufacturer, and by large, I mean they're dominating the Chinese market and making waves globally. And secondly, they're known for being a major player in renewable energy, which means they produce batteries, solar panels, and energy storage solutions. Come on now, use your smartphones and Google it. Look, if there's one thing the Chinese are not so good at, it's naming. But that's a topic for another day. For now, let's focus on what drives the Auto 3. The Auto 3 is powered by a single electric motor that produces 150 kilowatts of power and 310 newton meters of torque. It has a 0 to 100 kilometers per hour time of 7.3 seconds and a top speed of 160 kilometers per hour. It's not particularly slow, but for an EV, it's not impressive either. The top speed is a bit of a disappointment if you ask me. While not the fastest EV on the market, the Auto 3 offers adequate acceleration for most drivers. It provides a good punch off the line and feels nippy when you need it to be. However, it has been criticized for feeling sluggish at higher speeds, but for your legal speeds, it's just about enough. For a first time electric car for the channel, I never felt like I needed more power. On this channel, we are practical and for that reason, let's launch it. You're probably there wondering, how does it drive? Well, I've got you covered. The Auto 3 is a front-wheel drive vehicle, which is typical for most EVs. This gives it good handling and agility, making it easy to maneuver the vehicle in urban scenarios. The ride quality is comfortable and composed. Well, I only test drove it on smooth tarmac. It's also surprisingly good around the corners, and what's interesting is that you can also feel the electric motors working to put traction where it's needed. Overtaking, well, that's easy. You just put your foot down and swoosh, you are done with your overtaking maneuver. There are two derivatives in the model lineup, namely the Auto 3 Standard with a range of 345 kilometers at 768,000 and the Auto 3 Extended with a range of 420 kilometers at 835,000 rands. While the BYD Auto 3 is an affordable and practical electric SUV, and has a lot to offer in terms of style, space and range, if you're looking for a sporty and engaging driving experience, you may want to consider another option. The vehicle is comfortable and composed, however, in my opinion, it lacks that driver engagement feel. With that being said, let's have a look at the exterior and interior. Up front, the Auto 3 is dominated by a large closed grille with a horizontal bar that houses the BYD logo. The slim LED headlights give the car a sharp look and the vehicle features a muscular hood, wide stands, and an aggressive front bumper which gives the Auto 3 a sporty appearance. Personally, I'm not particularly sold on the looks, and on a scale out of 10, I'd give it a modest 7 out of 10. What do you think? Let us know in the comment section below. On the side, you have smooth lines and sculpted doors. The blacked out B pillars and C pillars give the car a floating roof effect. 
You have 18 inch alloy wheels which fill out the wheel arches and add to the car's aesthetics. If I had to pick a side, the side profile would do it for me. The rear of the Atto 3 features a full width LED tail light bar that stretches across the back of the car. The rear hatch is large and practical, making it easy to load and unload cargo and it's electric. The rear bumper is finished in a gloss black finish, which gives the car a premium look. Boot capacity is rated at 440 liters and it can be expanded to 1340 liters by tumbling down the second row of seats. Although looks are subjective, this vehicle will definitely appeal to a wide range of drivers. The Atto 3's interior is unlike anything else I have seen on the market, with a wavy dashboard, soft touch materials and multicolored seats with red stitching. The door speakers are integrated into the door panels and even the door handles are shaped like dumbbells. The center console features a 12.3 inch touchscreen infotainment system that can be rotated from landscape to portrait mode. This is said to be a great way to keep the driver focused on the road while still being able to access all the car's infotainment features. You have a panoramic sunroof as standard which lets in plenty of natural light and of course fresh air. You have heated front seats and I must say that these seats are comfortable. As for practicality, well you have plenty of storage space with cup holders in the doors, center console and rear armrest. There's also a deep storage compartment under the center console. The 12.3 inch infotainment system is compatible with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. For your charging needs, you have two USB ports at the front and two USB ports at the rear. You also have an additional wireless charging pad for the front passengers. Uh, but Mio, I know you say the vehicle is good and that's fine, but is it safe? <laughs> well, I know the Chinese do not have quite a good reputation for safety, but they have been busy over the years getting that right. And with that, the BYD Auto 3 earned a 5 star safety rating from both Euro NCAP and ANCAP. As standard, you have 7 airbags which includes dual frontal airbags, side chest protecting and side curtain airbags as well as center airbags that provide added protection to front seat occupants in side impact crashes. To add to that, you have a high strength body structure. And that's not all, you also have autonomous emergency braking, lane departure warning and lane keep assist, blind spot detection, as well as rear cross traffic alert. And in addition to that, you also have the adaptive cruise control. And that's not all, you also get a 360 degree panoramic camera, a hill descent control system as well as a tire pressure monitoring system. As you can see, the BYD Auto 3 is a very safe car that's packed with features to help you avoid accidents and protect yourself and your passengers. With that being said, let's have a quick rough estimate of the cost of ownership. For the purpose of this video, we'll look at the extended version. With a recommended retail price of 835,000 rands, cost of ownership will set you back 18,648 with an installment of 16,324. For your monthly travel costs, we'll assume that you're going to use a DC fast charger at 580 per kilowatt hour. The extended version uses a battery pack of 60 kilowatt hours. Therefore, if you take 580 and multiply it by 60 kilowatt hours, you will have an amount of 346 rands, which should give you a range of between 300 to 420 kilometers given real life scenarios. Because the Auto 3 has just recently been launched, I couldn't get an estimated insurance cost for this particular EV. However, we can assume at least 2,000 Rand per month. In my opinion, the running costs are really low. It's just the ownership that's a bit expensive. Worth mentioning is that the vehicle comes with a 5 year or 100,000 km warranty. With that being said, it is now time for the meal score. For the interior, I'll give this vehicle a 7.5 out of 10. For the exterior, I'll give it a 7 out of 10. For safety and tech, I'll give the vehicle a 9 out of 10. For engine and performance, I'll give it an 8 out of 10. As an overall package, the PYD Auto 3 gets an overall score of 8 out of 10. The PYD Auto 3 therefore gets a MIO score of 39.5 out of 50. Thank you very much for watching and for getting to the end of the video. If you haven't yet done so, please don't forget to like and to subscribe to the channel for more dope content like this. Let's support this channel and watch it grow together.